Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokeam here, and today I'm gonna give you a guide to Pokemon Sword and Shield that basically tells you how to farm money. Now, I'm not gonna take credit for this guide at all. It was the VGC players who basically tweeted it at me when I said something on Twitter, so big shout out to them, uh, honestly. And this is something that you wanna do after you've beaten the game. It's a really easy way to earn money, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. So like I said, it's post game. But uh, first thing you wanna do is get the Gigantamax Meowth from the Mystery Gift. I already have mine right here. And uh, basically the way this works is that you're gonna use Meowth's G-Max move, uh, the Gold Rush, and couple that with a Luck Incense or an Amulet Coin to farm money from uh, the Winden Stadium. And what that allows you to do is basically walk away with about $355,000 or so, as long as you do it right. So when her, uh, we were in this town where Nessa actually has her gym, and uh, we already have our G-Max Meowth. And we're gonna go over here, and this is where you buy the, um, this is where you buy the Luck Incense right here. It costs 11,000, it's in Holberry, and you can see it real quick on the map. It's right over here where the lighthouse is. See, just go here, this is where Nessa's gym is. Uh, you can get the Amulet Coin as well, which is on the outskirts of town. I believe it's right around here. Uh, I'll show you real quick as well. Well, it's, it's here, but um, I already picked mine up, so I wanted to use the Luck Incense just in case. And I might have actually traded away my Amulet Coin to somebody, so uh, for this purpose, we're using the Luck Incense. So the way this works is basically, you're gonna fly to, um, to the Winden Stadium. And I do advise getting your mouth uh, maximum IV'd, maximum EV'd, uh, and at least attack and speed, that way you can be strong enough. As you can see, mine's level 100. There is a guide down below in the description that I made to basically make any Pokemon level 100 pretty quickly, but it involves max raids, and also have them battle ready. Again, I'll have that guide linked down below. We're gonna go to the Winden Stadium, <clears throat> and basically what we're gonna do right here, and pardon me, it's been like eight hours that I've been streaming, and I just got off stream, uh, but we're gonna take part in the tournament. And the idea is to use my Dynamax, or my G-Max moves rather, three times per game. If I use it three times per game, I can get the most money possible. And I'll show you guys my money before we go into this. So I have $402,000. Um, I actually just did this recently, but I have $402,000. And the big thing behind getting money is obviously you wanna be able to buy uh, battle items like vitamins and whatnot. It's good for EV training too. It's better than actually using your battle points because it's easier to do this. Another thing you can actually do as well, now that I have your attention, is you can sell the rare items that you get during max raids, and that also lets you farm a lot of money. But yeah, so I'm just gonna be going through this. Uh, I could just cut to the end, but I wanna show you that I'm getting money throughout the entire thing. But the idea is, I literally use G-Max, uh, or Gigantic Max Meow, and uh, basically on any normal move, it doesn't matter the moveset, this is just some random moves. Uh, but I use G-Max Gold Rush, and I use it three times, and after that I just gotta beat the person, and then keep going. It's very simple. Maybe I will skip to the end, that way you guys don't have to see like the entirety of it, but I don't want you to be like, oh, well there's no proof that you did this, blah, blah, blah. It's pretty easy. Actually, you know, I'll just show you the first battle. I'll just show you the first battle, that's it. I'll show you the first battle, because uh, I'm not trying to stretch this for 10 minutes because it's for revenue, I don't, whatever. I don't really need to, uh, but when you use this, Basically, you'll get an additional amount of money and the luck instance also gives you some more money. So, I should get an additional $99,000 uh, from this after. And all my mods level 100 was pretty easy. Again, I have that guide down below if you wanna get your Pokemon to level 100 pretty quickly. So I'm gonna use this three more times, or two more times, excuse me, before I, uh, I'm use this long meow. <laughs> I love this mod so much. It's so funny. And when it came out, meow, meow, meow. Like, the way it came out was so funny. So, yep, one, two, three. And this is a pretty good place to farm in general because uh, you, you get people who give you the most money out of it. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to knock out Crustal here because it does resist, but that doesn't matter. The, the important part is that I use it three times. All right, let's knock this, let's not knock him out, but let's get some damage. I could probably knock him out with Iron Tail after. And the reason I advise getting you to level 100 and whatnot is because, again, look at my level difference. That's a normal type attack doing over half. It does resist it. And it just makes it easier to get off attacks when you're actually <laughs> higher level than your opponent. And Meowth isn't like the strongest Pokemon even at level 100, to be honest. But yeah. Uh, should be a couple more mods. Let's go for Iron Tail to knock him out. 
Oh, of course, we missed. Nice. Good, good. Let's prolong the video. I like that. This might even do a decent chunk. Yeah, because, because I'm a Meowth, man. Even with the level difference, how you doing a third? A little bit over half. And I've missed twice. And he set up Stealth Rock because this is a competitive battle. Bro, just hit. It's right in front of you. It's like three inches in front of you. Thank you. All right, so we get rid of Crustle. Perfect. And only two mods left. Uh, Meowth no longer has to be in the field, so I can actually go out to something else to beat it down, and I think I will. We'll go Toxtricity here, so we can actually just knock out the uh, Goliath Spot Overdrive. And then the last Pokemon. And we, all you gotta do is pay attention to the amount again. That's just the proof you're gonna get. But if you do this, you get around uh, $355,000, around $360,000, around there. Get knocked out, buddy. And one more. And we just gotta pay attention, again. So you get double the prize money, and then uh, obviously you get a lot out of that. I can stay in, Sludge Whip will knock it out. This boy is EV trained. That's, you know, almost double the level. All right, perfect, okay. So I'm gonna make sure I don't speed through this, but you'll just see how much additional money I got. I love his little playing the guitar, man, or playing his like stomach after. So I got 16,240 for winning, and I picked up an additional $99,999. Did you see that? So that's basically like you farm money. You keep going through this with Meowth, use it three times the entire time, and that will let you obviously pick up expensive items like the $10,000 vitamins that are in this, uh, this uh, town. So thank you for watching, hope you guys all enjoyed. If you wanna figure out how to get your favorite Pokemon or any Pokemon on level 100 via Max Raids, I have a guide linked down below in the description. I'm not gonna go through this entire thing because there's no point. But yeah, I'll see you guys. Goodbye, my friends.